What's good, YouTube family? Hopping in for just a moment. It's your boy, Make It Happen, right here on the Make It Happen channel, where reaction is life and life is reaction. My man, Toby Montgomery, asked me to do some con, conceal the outro. I just recently found out that con stands for knowledge above all nonsense. And from what I've heard, man, he is definitely above the nonsense, man. This boy can flow. This boy can go off. And from... Man, let me just go ahead and hop into it. And without further ado, like I always do about this time, let's go ahead and throw on the reaction switch, which can only be found right here on the Make It Happen channel. And let's proceed. Khan concealed the outro. Ooh, shit. Hey, man, fathers could be cruel, though, for real. Man, it, you know what I'm saying? But, just, you know, like I see, I say, be abundantly blessed that you have a father in your life. And don't ever feel like you have to prove your father wrong or anybody wrong by, you know, achieving your goals in life. You shouldn't uh, base your goals in life off of the hate of others, man. Like, never go after something with envy. Like, you want to get back at somebody. The, like I said, the ultimate payback is forgiveness. The, like, people watch you grow and they watch you rise financially and spirit spiritually and artistically and with skill and so much skill to the point where they envy that you know what i'm saying and you, you don't even have to be jealous anymore man you like you just changed your lifestyle up on them in like 2.2 .2 seconds and they don't understand that and they can't fathom the fact that you're happy after all these years they tried to make you mad if y'all get what i'm saying you know just you know i'm gonna go let me go back let me get back into this video and then my brain's a wide the feeling alone and i've been living with depression so i wonder how this shit really begins i'm comfortable with the stars sufficient and now it is i've been working on this track for one minute still i feel like nothing that i do is good enough my insecurities are driven this will keep it to the music and it's funny when other people see you and it's amusing abusing many of your feelings i'm in the way i fail to the point of my reality the hardest thing really the only thing i ever needed was a little piece of love and i couldn't find that in people so i was seeking and trust and i wanted to be the greatest instead i'm facing the truth with the fact that the matter is that i'm losing it wasn't use and i know i'm trying to regret it it's like I'm for living, I pray that I've never given I say I'm take a picture for sending to give it in a minute Quick to pull the claim to his win and it wasn't ever Then a premonition, I'm like, you're the devil, make it proud And if I never take a present, and if I was down And I keep it up, I told him he ran and began to land in the round I fought the fight and they free, I'm ignoring all of my violence I said I'm very empty, but I'm actually terrified And my paranoia was terrified, cause I just realized I don't wanna make it to 25, I'm a suicidal Psychopath, it's schizophrenic, I Hey, but y'all young folks, man, anybody 18 to 25, 15 to 25 I mean, y'all don't be thinking like that, man There's nothing in life to end your life over man i've told countless people this man like there's so much joy i know there's hate and there's so much bad stuff that goes on in this world but there's so much joy to be found on a day like today it doesn't matter how much money you have in your uh checking account it doesn't matter what type of car you drive or whether you even drive one at all it doesn't matter what type of house you live in or what neighborhood you live in there's something always positive to be found you know what i'm saying you just had to find it and you and it may not be positive to others but it could be positive to you like what suits me doesn't always suit everybody else like i like this vegan lifestyle that i live it may not suit other people but that's fine it makes me happy like the like you might have a pair of shoes and they might be you know tore up and the flow up but you know that doesn't mean i have to wear them and you know it, you might you might like the shoes but i don't you know what i'm saying but, man, let me get back into the video. No further interruptions. I take that back. I might have to pause it a few times. But y'all but y'all know it's to, you know, I'm, I mean, if I pause it, you know, multiple times, that means I'm into it. So y'all should, you know, give me give me credit for that at least. You know what I'm saying? Got a story for your rapper. They hoping that you remember me. The message I provided collided within the melody. A metamorphosism, religion, given the botchery, the resurrection of a savior coming out of Nazareth. When you can catch a laceration and a crucifixion of the Bro, he is going off, man. I ain't gonna pause it. <laughs> I take that back, man. But he is he is going off most definitely. Hey, 
y'all, it's kind of like I'm trying to follow the message that he's saying, but I'm so mesmerized by his flow overall that I can't even. It's kind of like I'm in disbelief that he's even going like this, man. But at the same time, I'm trying to keep up with this message. But at the same time, I'm in like, I'm in awe of his like lyrical abilities, like his ability just to go off like that for like 20 to 30 seconds at a time, man. Shit's crazy, man. <laughs> Shit. What I just do? Does this man breathe, y'all? Does this man come up for air at all? Like that shit's crazy to me. He's been going off for like how long is this song? Three minutes, and I've been it's three minutes in. He hasn't stopped like not one damn time, man. I think that's a record. You know what I'm saying? I think Twister needs to watch his back. Man. I'm just, like, Mike Wright just needs to watch his Bikay Reno, man, because this dude, like, I was watching, like, uh, I think I watched the interview with him, like, a part of it, because I wanted to really figure out how you pronounced his name and everything, and he looked, he looked young, man, he looked like my brother's age, like, early 20s, late teens, you know what I'm saying, looked like a young dude, possibly my age, I don't know, man, but he was young, he was young looking. And going off like this out of the fucking starting gate, man, shit's crazy. I refuse to fake it. I'd rather slowly retire. I think that's what he said. I, I caught that. That was dope. Everything I write is centered around my honesty. Okay. What y'all done put me on to, man? Overall, man, I loved it, man. My man Khan, knowledge above all nonsense. He seems like a promising up-and-coming young rapper, man. Like, I don't know how long he's been out righteously, but he he seems like... Seems is an understatement, man. I feel like he is the next biggest thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we had more people like this in hip-hop, man, like, more rappers like this in the game of hip-hop, there wouldn't be... All this talk about, you know, hip hop is dead and all that bullshit. We need more rappers like, dare I say it, you know, like Dave East, because I, I hear a lot of mixed comments on Dave East, like, yo, he ain't real and all, you know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't that lyrical. We, guys, we got to stop that, you know what I'm saying? If he's the least bit lyrical, like J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar, you know, like, and then you, of course, you got K. Reno, and then you got the European grime that's going on, like, you know, low key and Mike Reckless, man. You know what I'm saying? That stuff is out there, man. People just, they don't look for it, man. It's crazy. It's kind of like people are afraid to go underground. It, it's like at the same time, we, we talk about, you know, Rock Kim and Cool G Rap and, you know, Daddy Kane and Melly Mel and all these dudes from back in the day, like, uh, 
what's the you know what I'm saying? Like these type of dudes, but we don't. At the same time, uh, we we talk about the industry, the music industry, and then we're afraid to go underground. So I feel like it goes two ways, man. You can't talk about hip hop in its current state if you haven't, you know, even attempted to search underground for the hip hop. You know, you, if you haven't attempted to search elsewhere for good hip hop, you know what I'm saying. If you don't know about it, then I feel like you don't deserve to talk about it, basically. But Khan, man, he, oh my God, promising young rapper, man. That's all I got to say, man. And I, I'm proud to have him on my channel, man. And like I always say, anything Khan y'all want to hear, in the, you know, please feel free to put it in the comments section. Anything K Reno, Mike Reckless, Low Key, uh, Rex32, you know. Stuff like that, man. NF, most definitely. Man, please feel free to put it in my comments section, man. Like always, man, I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. I'm out.